the primary way that we look into outer space and to figure out what's out there is with light. And we use photons to detect, and that's what we've been doing for, for centuries now. But neutrinos are promising because we can use neutrinos to detect um, objects that light can't really tell us about because light does not pass through matter. Most matter, as we know, so if you shine a light at a wall, it's not going to go through the wall. But neutrinos, on the other hand, will go right through a lot of you know matter, and it's unobstructed. So if we can detect these neutrinos on Earth, we can it can tell us a lot about you know what's out there and things that we don't typically see with light. And so our project was modeling the detector signal on Earth of neutrinos that might be produced from outer space. So we basically wanted to find an alternate way to make a solar cell and solar cells are usually made out of silicon which is hard and expensive to refine. So we um, found that blackberries work just as well. Basically we took um, a paste, we made a paste and we put it onto this glass that conducts and um, after we put the paste on there, we let it cook, and we took the blackberry dye and we soaked it up into there, and then we put the electrolyte solution on top of the dye, and we then on another um, tin oxide glass, which is also called the FTO glass, we put graphite on it and we turned it and sandwiched the cell, and then put binder clips to make it stick, and put it in the sun, and then we um, hooked up the multimeter to see the voltage. Right here, about 483 um, nanometers is the wavelength that photons are absorbed best, and this is in the BlackBerry, and right here it's really good because right there there's a peak right at where the photons are absorbed best in the sunlight. So. And so my project essentially tried to establish parameters to make nanowire solar cells as effective as possible. So we want to use nanowire solar cells because they are more cost effective than for example thin films or bulk films. And so what I did was I established physical parameters to make as perfect crystalline nanowires that will be ideal for further optical testing um, as you can possibly have with indium selenide which is um, a new material as an alternative to for example silicon nanowire solar cells. Thin films are most effective and I think they're about 66 percentage right now uh, efficiency and that's like theoretical testing sort of uh, things that have been done and the problem with those is that they are very very expensive to produce so they need um, single crystalline silicon essentially and so that's very very expensive to produce and right now they're really only used on satellites because they're just that hard to manufacture. Me and my partner Alan Jang uh, did a project on trying to replace the current paper card sign-out system at Science and Math and replacing it with an online electronic system. We believe that signing out using a smartphone or an online web application would be less of a hassle. It's making the whole sign-out, sign-in experience less stressful, more convenient, quicker, and it's just trying to move towards the future with all the electronics, basically.